Hi and welcome, this is a reading for the new moon eclipse in Gemini happening on June 10th. So let's see, what do we have? So what we can see is that um, what well, we have the Ten of Cups and um, this is about a cycle um, ending which is what happened with the full moon that was the first eclipse, the full moon in Sagittarius um, that was so uh, end of May and this full moon really helped us to complete um, complete a cycle and um, the cups is all about water and emotions so we completed an um, emotional cycle that uh, gave us more maturity because we also have the queen of cups and the queen of cups is all about owning um, your emotions like taking responsibility for your emotions and being emotionally stable and um, mature um, so that's what happened with the with the last full moon that we had and we also have the medicine mother honor your inner knowing so it's also been a cycle where we really reconnected with our intuition also cups uh, is about intuition and reconnecting with the the feminine aspect within us um, because we all have polarities, um, we, we all have masculine and feminine insight, um, whatever our gender is, and um, so it was really about intuition as a medicine and really trusting this inner voice and this inner magic and there's also been a lot of uh, work with dreams um, a lot of healing uh, the past around the full moon and the past two weeks the in between the the um the with this eclipse window there's been a lot of uh, releasing and healing um, through dreams purging emotions or getting messages or having very vivid very complex dreams but with a sense of um release and clarity and so now with uh, this new moon we really uh, well we have the sun and I love this card for me it's really um, about I see it and it's like this big 
explosion of joy and uh, enjoying life and um, which has for me it has a lot to do with Gemini because Gemini is this very um, playful it's an air sign it's very playful it's very curious it's um, um, very um, dynamic and uh, wants to do so many things and learn and and but learn with joy and lightness of being and I see that as also a very creative card um, and we also have we have the summer card and um, and it's yeah like a summer full of of joy and life and just um enjoying and sharing with others and being in your own creativity mm. and it's the bee so it's a lot about the um, community um sharing with people being with others um doing something together and um We have the judgment card, and um, it's about recognizing a part of yourself. Um, that maybe you were not seeing before or um, something that is coming to light with these eclipses and that makes you understand um, more about yourself and and kind of changing perspective to see yourself from another perspective and thinking oh wow yeah I was missing that point or that thing and now I see myself better and I understand myself better and I recognize my value I recognize something that I was not seeing before and that's going to help to have more stability we also have the truth the hold the space card so again it's about maturity emotional maturity more stability and um, being able to holding your own space and also making space um, the new moon is about new beginnings making space for um, ending a cycle and letting go of anything that is not serving you um, old beliefs, old patterns, old energies so that you can embrace the, the new that is coming creating space within yourself so then more opportunities come your way and the unknown and um, lots of things that your mind cannot um, cannot see um, because that's the way it is <laughs> we don't or cannot plan because really there are so many um, amazing opportunities that we cannot plan and that's the beauty of life and uh, we have the night be brave and honest and this to me uh, speaks about communication which is another um, theme for this new moon I feel because it's in Gemini uh, also we have Mercury retrograde so it's a good time to review and 
reflect on how you communicate with others and also with yourself because I feel it's about a lot about um, self-talk and inner this inner dialogue that is happening what is happening like how do you talk to yourself are you able to support yourself with your, your words the way you support others and encourage yourself can you be kind to yourself the way you are kind with others your friends your loved ones can you do that for yourself because that's actually um, the most important relationship in life is the one you have with yourself <laughs> so it's really important to be mindful of this inner dialogue that is happening what is happening like how do you talk to yourself um, just being aware you know, of um you know how you communicate with yourself and then we have for the energies we are welcoming we have the two of swords which is uh, kind of funny because the, the gemini's the the twins and one of the things of the Gemini is that something is re sometimes it's really hard to make a choice. Um, and this card is all about pausing and reflecting and not like being in between something and having two choices. Um, and it's, yeah, there's also this theme about choice right now that I feel is really important for us to pause and ask ourselves, what are we choosing? Like, what world, what reality are we choosing? Because there are many different realities, um, depending on how you, because how you, the way you perceive uh, your perspective, the way you perceive the world, is going to shape your reality. That's how it goes with astrology, for example. It's just a perception. Like, Mercury is retrograde. Okay, right now. What does that mean? From the perspective of the Earth, it appears that Mercury is moving backwards, which is totally not happening on a... Um, you know, like cosmic level, no, no planets are going backwards. That's not happening. But because from the Earth, we look at the sky and we see that Mercury is moving, appears to move backwards, then it becomes our reality. And it has an impact on us. Um, and the thing is that it's the same with life because you can, uh, if you um, live a Mercury retrograde from the lower um, frequency, I would say, then uh, you'll get frustrated and there are so many delays and nothing is um, flowing according to the plan. Da, 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 da. But then if you take the same situation, but you live it from a higher frequency, and then it's actually a really good time um, to reflect and review and uh, go back to old projects or um, it's a, it, it, there are a lot of opportunities but it just depends on how on your perspective and your perception of things so um, yeah that's uh, the two of swords we it's yeah about choice and perception what do we choose to focus on and what we choose to see and it's uh i feel it's it's more and more it's becoming more and more important now with the situation the global situation and everything that we hear and all this it's so stressful and 
So it's important to just pause and okay, ask yourself, okay, what am I choosing? What what do I want to create for me? For um, when things seem out of control and just pause and remember that you always have uh, the choice. You you can always choose your reality. And we also have the Princess of Cups. Um, and this is an invitation to connect with the, um, the ver a very um, innocent and youthful aspect of yourself. Um, which is also like the, the Gemini. The Gemini is this bubbly being. <laughs> um, and drink, drink from that cup of just feeling carefree and joyful and connect with your emotions in a very light way because the past month may have been, or past year, may have been really heavy emotionally but you can also choose to connect with your emotions in a very light way that is going to be very nourishing and um, and enjoyable we also have uh, Jesus the great teacher learn from spiritual experiences um, Well, again, for me, this card is all about raising your vibration and finding the spiritual. Spiritual is life. It's just um, finding the spiritual in all aspects of your life and understanding that we are here on this big human experiment <laughs> and sometimes it feels super dense and horrible but it's just an experiment and it's just um, in the end it's really important to as much as we can pause and find the the, the distance that we need to observe and understand that we're all here to learn something or many things and as much as we can make the best out of it and uh, finding the the spiritual and it doesn't have to be a big thing I mean just uh, yeah spir the spiritual aspect of life in the small details and the small joys and anything can be spiritual really Again, it's all about perspective. And uh, we have this beautiful white willow, the ways of water. So again, it's there's a lot of water, <laughs> but just the, the flow, the flow of life, letting the flow of life um, carry you and soothe you and um, nurture you and um, yeah but so um, I feel a lot of like healing cleansing of the roots of the um, their family um, just let it flow and let it go Okay, so that's um, that's all the cards have to say today. Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, I hope it helps you and I'll see you soon. Bye.